Joining me right now is another publisher, the head of one of the most successful game companies of all time. They've got a big year ahead, of course, NBA 2K, but also Red Dead Redemption 2 is poised to be one of the biggest games of the year when it releases uh, on October 26th. Uh, please give a warm YouTube Live E3 welcome to the CEO of Take-Two Interactive, Strauss Selnick. Strauss, great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Good to be uh, here. So I, we wanted to bring you on because I think, you know, Take-Two is one of those companies that has so many great developers and so many great teams, and you're the man that helps enable a lot of that. You know, studios like Rockstar, 2K, um, you know, it's, it's amazing what you've built as a company, and we wanted to talk a little bit about the history of Take-Two and also your role in sort of enabling creativity. Um, first of all, tell us a bit about, you know, a studio like Rockstar, you know, a studio like uh, Visual Concepts. Um, what's your philosophy of how you sort of manage those studios and allow them to build the games that they build? Well, I, I, I think we probably don't even think of words like manage and allow as part okay. of our lexicon. Yeah. We're all, we all work together in service of the same goal, which is make the best entertainment on earth and engage and captivate our yeah. consumers. And what's great about working inside the four walls of our enterprise is yeah. our creative folks are encouraged to pursue their passions, yeah. actually do what they enjoy, and to push the envelope as far as they can possibly push it. And if I, if I have a job as part of that, yeah. it's to create an environment where that's possible, uh, to create the financial resources, the human resources, the yeah. cultural resources. And then, of course, when the products are delivered, to have A-plus worldwide marketing and distribution. But that doesn't happen at every publisher, and you guys have been able to figure out the, the secret formula to that. W what does it come down to? Because, you know, sometimes games get delayed. You guys recently announced there'll be a game, you know, I think it was moving till next year. I mean, sometimes, you know, you have to make those tough decisions. Um, but I think you, it seems like you're always playing the long game. That's the goal. Yeah. The company's been around for 25 years. Yeah. Our team's been around for 11 years. Um, I've been in the video game business for longer than I care to say. I actually yeah. just ran into uh, someone with a Crystal Dynamics t-shirt. I know. My first video game I, company. Back uh, in the day, lots so, of great classics. You know, it, what I've found in, in, in entertainment is what always wins is quality. Yeah. And quality isn't quality of earnings. It's quality yeah. of, the, of the experience. Yeah. And what wins within the experience is, is to innovate based on the vision of the most creative people on earth. And our goal is to attract retain and encourage the most creative people on earth to do their work yeah. at our enterprise. Now, you know, you guys have a booth on the floor. Don't show a lot of games here at E3. Uh, so I think people are wondering, hey, or well, any, what do they have to Or any, for example. I was going to say, yeah. But so we have really like, good espresso. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. So it's a great booth. I think everyone's like, well, we want to go play Red Dead. Mm -hmm. We want, well, why, why don't we see more take to, uh, why don't we see Red Dead playable or other things here at E3. Tell us about that. There have been times when we've had yeah. booths that were very focused yeah. on letting consumers play. There are other times when we feel like our release schedule just isn't suited to that. Yeah. Uh, we have, we're thrilled about what's coming up for us this year. You mentioned our, yeah. our big titles, NBA 2K on September yeah. 11th, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 on October 26th. Of course, WWE is coming back this fall as well. Yeah. Plus all of our ongoing um, enterprises where we, we talk to consumers on a regular and, and basis. And GTA Online right, continues GTA Online. to be a phenomenon. Right. So, so we're engaged with consumers every day. Yeah. And what we found that this show, this show is good for engaging with press and yeah. engaging with the analyst community, uh, with our customers. And consumers come by too, but yeah. mostly because the food is good at our booth. <laughs> well, we're seeing we're seeing a little bit of Red Dead Redemption too. We couldn't let you go without asking you. I know you know Rockstar will talk about it, how they want to talk about it from your perspective. I mean, what can you tell us about you know your feeling on what Rockstar is doing with Red Dead too? It's amazing. Yeah. It's it's the first title built for the from the ground up by Rockstar for this generation. Yeah. And what's amazing is the standard bearer currently, in 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 the business in this generation yeah. and for the last generation was and remains Grand Theft Auto V, Grand Theft Auto yeah. Online. That, that title was, however, originally built for last gen. So yeah. I think what the, the palette on which the Rockstar team can now paint for Red Dead Redemption 2 offers incredible opportunity. And I think the expression of that opportunity is going to blow us all away. October 26th, we see, and that's, that's going to be the date. It's that's going to happen. Date. Yeah. All right, well, we can't wait to play it. Red Dead Redemption 2, NBA 2K, uh, it's an incredible uh, legacy that you've built and enabling all these amazing uh, creative studios to, to build some of the, the best games out there. Uh, so. I'm, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to, to work on the team. Awesome. Well, Strauss, great to see Thanks, you Jeff. as always. Great Thanks for uh, Thanks coming much. on the show. We're